Good morning, you guys. Yes, I know. We're not used to seeing skin on this channel. I put decaf beans in here. So I only do the caffeinated drink in the morning and if I want another one, I'll just use decaf. So I'm trying. I'm gonna put some salt and erythritol and stevia blend in here. And in she goes. Double. Couple tablespoons of heavy cream. A little bit extra. 34 grams, hi. All right, I'm gonna mix this up and take the little chicklins to school with my full ass coffee, pray for me. Let's hope I don't spill it all over myself. It happens. We're having a good morning, no rushing, so we're good. I haven't intermittent fasted this week. I did one day, but it was just because I was like recovering from the night before. So I'm not really worried about intermittent fasting. It's not really fitting my lifestyle right now because I like cream in my coffee. And for now, like I'm just gonna be doing what I'm doing. So sticking with the program. Hey guys, it's about noon. What time is it exactly? Oh, my back. 12, 19. So I cooked these yesterday. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of the four that I cooked. So I'm going to take this steak that I cooked. I don't know how big it is, but maybe I'll weigh it up just for that's and giggle. We're using paper plates right now because I need to catch up. Zero that out. I got this steak from, it was actually a huge tenderloin, a beef tenderloin from Winco. It was like 23 bucks and I forget how big it was, but I got those four steaks that I showed you a picture of and then plus this one and this one. I forgot. I also have this huge piece and this huge piece that I just um, put in bags and put in the freezer. I'm gonna air fry this. So I'm gonna get my little cast iron. Sorry if it's loud, I just turned my air fryer on. So let me do this really quick. I'm just gonna put it on here, like that, and stick it in my air fryer, and then I'll just check it in 10 minutes. Before it's done cooking, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter and just put it right on top. So I got my carry gold right here. I'm not weighing, measuring this out because I'm trying to do this really quick. I'm gonna stick that right on top of my steak. All right, guys, I stopped this a little bit early. Mm. That looks so good. Mm. Pick a different one. Pretty done, but it's going to be super tender because it's filet. I'm dipping it in the butter like that. Mm. Oh, I need salt. Oh, my goodness gracious. Some extra salt. I cooked it with salt on it, but I'm going to add some more. Perfect. You guys, my face is broken out because I didn't take care of it after I wore makeup the other day. Okay, let's try. That's so good. There's a little hint of pink in there I found, but it's still so tender. You can see there's a little bit of pink, right? layer a little tiny tiny hint tiny tiny hint like right there <laughs> still bomb it's not cooked to death but that butter though that butter is good maddie's jealous right now i'll give her a bite Ooh, look at that caramelization and then i just reheated on the air fry setting on my breville air oven and damn hey guys it's about two so i'm gonna make a decaf this is what the beans I have in here a decaf Americano just basically ice espresso water a couple tablespoons of heavy cream salt and sweetener basically the same thing I do for my hot coffee but iced that's awesome you deserve the five dollars you got from the tooth fairy good job you're so brave you're gonna do some pink salt a lot I'm going to add some stevia and erythritol sweetener. Chicklins. 
chairs to cut in caffeine. I kind of have a headache, so I'm going to drink some more water and then I've been keeping up with some salt. I also got these little rock salts, a little pink Himalayan rock salts. And I want to find a little candy dish to put them in. Um, I will leave the person who gave me that idea, like, right here. It was one of you guys. Love you. Thanks for the ideas. So I'm going to have my little pink rock salt in the candy dish and just kind of, when I'm filling it, just kind of pop one of them. All right, you guys. So this is a little secret. I'm really sorry. But in the description of one of my full day of eating videos, this one, I said that I was going to be picking one person and Angela Lopez is the winner. Ryan chose you. I just basically had to tell him three names and he picked one. So congratulations, Angela. Hey guys, I'm just kind of prepping ahead. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water and three of these chicken breasts in my instant pot and I'm going to cook it on pressure cook for about 40 minutes. All right, I figured I'd just throw some eggs in here since I'm kind of meal prepping the chicken. 26 minutes left on that. So I'm just gonna throw in some eggs and hard boil those. Normally I do my hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot, but since I'm using it, I'm just going to do these a little bash away. So let's hope they turn out good. The Instant Pot makes the shells slip right off. So I think I'm gonna add some vinegar because somebody told me that's a good tip. So I'm just gonna splash a glug of white vinegar in there and let them go for like 20 minutes because I just turned them on. So once they start boiling, I'll turn them off and probably let them sit for 10 minutes and then take the shells off. All right guys, so I accidentally boiled my eggs a little bit too long, but we'll see how they turn out. I just put them in an ice bath. Um, I had them boiling like rapidly for a little bit, but then I just turned them off. So hopefully I saved them, but we will see. Hopefully they're not underdone. That would be gross because I want them to be hard boiled for, you know, options. And I just rinsed out my pan really well and I put it back on the stove and then I cut my bacon package into four pieces and I'm just going to literally put that in that pan and save myself some dishes. All right guys, so I have the bacon in here. I just turned it on a low setting, like a medium low, and I'm just gonna let it render down while I take out my chicken and let that cool off so I can shred it up and then put it in the food processor once it cools down for chicken crust pizza. Also, I forgot the vinegar in the water and these eggs are pretty fresh and it is not working out for me, so. I'm going to walk away from these for a minute before I destroy them all. Two eggs that didn't quite make it, the whites pretty much are like halfway gone, but I'm going to eat those and probably a couple pieces of that bacon, and I'm going to drain my bacon grease into here. She's still sitting over here wanting more because, you know, she's a foodie. It is 3.30. I am just going to have two of those hard boiled eggs, the ones that mostly, most of the whites came off. So I would say it's about, you know, one white and two yolks and then two pieces of bacon. So I have eight of these little pieces because I chopped them into four each. Alright guys, so for this chicken crust I'm going to be using 12 ounces of chicken so that's what I have left out of the three so I'm just gonna go put that back and use that for something else it's cooled off now so I'm just gonna put the lid on and store it in the refrigerator just like this if I want chicken salad or something right here is the 12 ounces of chicken I am just going to um, kind of shred this up by hand a little bit and then give it a few pulses add four eggs and four ounces of shredded Parmesan cheese and I'm also gonna put some pink salt and I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in this because I'm not the only one eating it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of garlic powder because I haven't been really doing any garlic powder or spices. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit, possibly a little bit of oregano. Ooh, so beautiful. Okay. So that is nice and finely chopped, processed, perfect. So I got the chicken and the cheese in here, and I'm gonna add some pink salt, like a lot because that was a lot of chicken. But yeah, if you guys wanna see how I make these pizza crusts, then go ahead and click the link down below. I'll also try to remember to put a card up in the top so you guys can um, go to my chicken crust pizza recipe 
and I show you how to prep a whole bunch of these pizza crusts. But yeah, you can easily just take them out of the freezer, pop them in your toaster oven or in your oven, and make pizzas really quick, and they hold up really well in the freezer. You can also bake them off and then freeze them, so it's up to you. I like to freeze them this way and then just cook them as needed. I wanted to show you really quick what I was doing. Sorry if her cow is loud, but she's watching something. Um, I just took the recipe and I divided it in four. In my recipe in the video, I think I did double that. So um, I made them thinner, but I wanted a little bit thicker because I want each of these to be like a meal. So what I plan on doing with it is putting like a white sauce, maybe some cheese, or like uh, make an Alfredo. Probably just do like an Alfredo sauce and like cheese on the top. That's what I was kind of thinking. Maybe like a butter sauce or like Parmesan. I'm not really sure. But this is what it looks like. I put oregano and a little bit of garlic powder and salt. The egg, Parmesan cheese, and uh, the chicken. And what I do is basically I press it in between my parchment. And I roll it out. And I like to roll it out like pretty pretty thin. So I get like a pretty decent size. And this is not that thick. If you can tell, it's not that thick. So these turn out really great. And you can freeze them like this and then just pull back the parchment. Um, while they're frozen, it comes right off if you, as long as they're not too wrinkly. Um, see, it just peels right off like this. And then you can just freeze them and then you can bake them off as you want them. So I love doing this. I haven't done it in like forever. I'm just going to do this, put it in a Ziploc and put it in the freezer for now. Alright guys, so I just pulled everything out so you could see like basically what I just prepped. Uh, this was last night's steak that I just prepped last night. But I have those hard boiled eggs, the bacon, the leftover chicken, and four chicken crust pizzas. So you can make like uh, cheese bread or you can um, roll it out even thinner and bake it off and do crackers. You just score them ahead of time, this way and this way, like if you were to just cut them with the pizza cutter. And then like on your, par on your parchment paper, bake them off at a low temperature. So they dry out and then you can just break them apart and put like a bunch of salt on it beforehand or something like that. Um, but this is what I've done for meal prep so I just wanted to share with you guys because you know I know that not everybody can be home all day and this stuff is like really easy to take with you on the go like hard boiled eggs and bacon, bake off a crust, take it to, take it to work or school with you or whatever. Hey guys my throat is sore so I'm going to make some Earl Grey. I think I've tried this a long time ago when I worked for Starbucks, you know, when I tried everything. I don't remember what it's like. I'm going to have to open it and smell it. But I'm going to have it with um, a splash of heavy cream, probably like a tablespoon or so. Um, I just want to sip on something super hot right now. And I don't want, like, decaf coffee or anything. I want something a little thinner than that. So I'm going to try this. Alright, you guys, I went ahead and put a little squirt of that heavy cream the unsweetened heavy cream that I put a little bit of vanilla extract in and I'm just gonna stir this up and sip on this and take a little break because I'm not feeling so hot hey you guys so while I've been cleaning and filming all day I haven't really been cooking for myself I have been snacking on this. I probably ate maybe half of the pack of bacon. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of going with it and eating when I'm hungry and not feeling that great. So still still doing stuff though. I'm trying to put this back. Okay, so going in on the chicken crust pizza, we're gonna set the air oven for the highest pizza setting and then I'm gonna cook one side and then when it gets brown, I'm gonna flip it over and then add my butter, my pink salt, pepper. I have some basil and a little bit of garlic powder, and then I'm just going to spread that all over, then top it with cheese, and then pop it back in until it's nice and brown. Okay, so my very plain pizza is done. I hope it tastes good. I think with the flavors, it's gonna taste good. I didn't wanna make it too plain because I've been eating a lot of plain things unseasoned lately, so I kinda of went for a little bit of the garlic and a tiny bit of basil, so that's been like uh, the most carby type thing I've been having. So I'm kind of excited for this. Let's see what it looks like when I cut it. It's probably going to be a little dry. I wish I had more Parmesan to make some Alfredo because that's what I wanted to do with this. I wanted to dip this in Alfredo and I can't now. Wah, but that's okay. I'm just going to eat it as is. I'm sure it's high enough fat with all that cheese on top. I'm just going to eat till I'm full. I just had a big glass of water, so I don't know. Let's see what it looks like cut. Sorry, I look like trash, but this is really good. Check it out. That's what the bottom looks like. 
Mmm, that is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just tried it with Valentine hot sauce. So I just kind of inspired myself to make these thinner and put cheese in the middle. Yeah, that would be damn good. Stay tuned for that. Not feeling that great, which sucks. My throat hurts. Maybe I'll try to go get some allergy medicine tomorrow, but I think I'm coming down with a cold. That's going to do it for my full day of eating. I hope you guys liked it. Say goodnight, baby girl. Goodnight. All right, guys. I will see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.